Yo, what's going on, y'all? Um, I figured I wanted to try something a little bit different today. You know, I've never actually done like like a ranking video before. So I wanted to try something a little bit different. And essentially, as you read the title, this is going to be my top 20 favorite car brands. Um, quick little disclaimer, you're not going to see the super high-end vehicles such as Bugatti, Rolls-Royce, Lamborghini, Ferrari, those that are exclusive to the wealthiest of people available. I try to do the more like mainstream affordable car brands. Um, so that's like the only outlier rule, but nonetheless, let's get right into it. Number 20, Audi. The first vehicle brand on this list is Audi. Audi is a solid car brand of the Volkswagen company as its luxury counterpart with a decent array of luxury sedans and SUVs. Um, as far as Audi goes, my favorite Audi would have to be the R8. It is a beautiful and awesome sports car. The big ass V10 in it sounds amazing. The A8 is a really nice full size luxury sedan. The Q7 is probably my favorite SUV made by Audi. I am a large vehicle fan. That's the largest SUV Audi produces. Um, as far as driving any Audis, the only one that I've ever gotten to drive is in 2009 Audi A4. It was a solid car, had some decent uh, luxury touches to it, but nothing you know tremendous. You can check out my review on it. Um, overall, though, Audi is a decent brand. I don't love it, but overall, it's just a solid brand. Number 19, Chevrolet. Moving to the 19th spot on the list is Chevy. Chevy has made some unique cars in the 21st century that I've come to appreciate, such as the SS and the SSR. Being a truck guy, the Silverado is a decent truck, but not my favorite. And as far as their best sellers go, the Tahoe, the Suburban, the Silverado are all decent vehicles, but they will never be my first choice. I am definitely not a Camaro guy, nor am I a big fan of their other sedans. Overall, to me, Chevy is just a very generic car brand. No disrespect. Um, and then as far as any of the Chevys that I've actually had to drive, um, I drove a 2017 Malibu. And overall, it was fair, but nothing impressive. Number 18. Tesla. See, this one was a tricky one for me. I mean, I will flat out tell you that I'm not a huge fan of electric vehicles. So to me, Tesla is the 21st century Ford in the sense that they're catalyzing the future of the car industry as far as the electric concepts go. And I know Rivian and other electric competitors are catching up, but as far as now, Tesla is the first full-scale company to do that. And I like their overall uniqueness. Um, I'd say my favorite Tesla is probably the Model X with the Falcon Wing doors and the massive windshield slash sunroof thing is amazing as far as the MPG as well. However, the noiseless vehicle aspect and your heart attack inducing electric bill are not awesome. Still, I'm curious to see what the Model Y and eventual semi-truck concept bring to the table. Number 17, Lincoln. Number 17 was also a bit of a tricky placement for me, as I'm not a huge Lincoln fan overall, but I've always liked the Navigator and I adore the current generation. I think Lincoln really knocked it out of the park on the overall design of this modern Navigator. Still, as far as the rest of Lincoln's fleet goes, the new Aviator and Continental are both pretty solid, and I think it's better Lincoln strays away from the MKT and Town Car-esque designs that they seek to compete with other luxury brands. I also appreciate Lincoln's attempts at making pickup trucks back in the day, such as the Mark LT and Blackwood in the early to mid 2000s. Carpeted beds, though, aren't going to cut it in the rugged pickup truck world of Ford, Ram, and Chevy. Overall, though, Lincoln is a decent car company. Not my favorite. Number 16, Pontiac. Number 16 brings us the first of the discontinued cars on the list, as Pontiac said they fell under on Halloween Day 2010. At the time of his death, Pontiac fleet was pretty stale, unfortunately going out on a sour note of the former brand that it once was. My love for Pontiac stems from the GTO, Firebird, and Le Mans of the muscle car era. Even the Firebird and GTO of the 2000s weren't bad looking in my opinion. But Pontiac also made some odd cars such as the Aztec, which crawled out of the woods of Montana in the early 2000s. They also made a minivan called the Montana. They also attempted a roadster called the Solstice, whose character I appreciated alongside the Aztecs. Sometimes I see beloved enthusiasts preaching for GM to resuscitate Pontiac from the dead, and I kind of agree with them. I think it'd be pretty cool to see a modern GTO compete with the Challenger, Mustang, and Camaro. Number 15, Honda. Honda has a special place in my heart, as I grew up with Hondas as a child. Mom had a 2007 Pilot, my favorite generation, which she later traded in for a 2012 Pilot. 
My dad has a 2004 Odyssey with 280,000 miles, and my grandma has a 2004 Accord. And before any of these, my mom had a 1997 Civic hatchback with 300,000 miles before a tree fell on and totaled it during a storm in 2010. Aside from personal preference, I love the S2000, which is probably my favorite Honda ever, and I would kill to drive one. The digital gauge cluster and push-button ignition for the early 2000s was just so cool to me. Honda also has some forgotten weird cars such as the CRZ, Cross Tour, and the Element. Also one of the most reliable brands ever, so that's another great perk of owning a Honda. Number 14, Jeep. Number 14 on the list is a brand that I have a fair liking for, as I have liked a handful of their vehicles over the years. Up front, I am not the biggest fan of Wranglers. I know this might get me crucified by Jeep people, but I don't really care. I drove a beat up 98 Wrangler Sport, and it handled pretty shittily. Granted, it was 20 years old, and I've rode my friend's 07 Wrangler. It felt the same as the 97. Don't get me wrong, the Wrangler Rubicons are sweet and they're awesome to take down to the beach and stuff, but I wouldn't ever own one. I really like the old and modern Grand Cherokees though, whether it's the old filing cabinet as designs, or the modern Trackhawk editions that have the optional Hellcat engine in them. Also, I think the Gladiator is a pretty cool vehicle, and I'm looking forward to seeing the rebirth of the Grand Wagoneer, one of my favorite Jeeps with just a classic uh, look with a wood design as well. Number 13, Land Rover. See, if this list was made 10 years ago, Land Rover would have probably placed fairly higher as a big fan of late 2000s Land Rover designs. I'm generally a fan of boxier vehicles, as you will come to see. Um, I don't know why, but I always loved the late 2000s LR4 design. It had that odd rear window design. It's probably my favorite Land Rover ever. I don't know why, I just think it's a really cool looking car. The old Defender had a pretty simple, tough design as well. The LR2 was a decent car. Uh, the Range Rover from the early to late 2000s had a great look in my mind. It was a great mix of boxiness and sharp angles. Newer ones are solid too. They're a bit more bubbly, but they're still pretty nice. Newer Defenders and the Little Evokes are kind of not so great, but they're trying. And before anyone says something, I know damn well that Land Rovers are as reliable as a broken toaster, but still, they're nice looking cars. Number 12, Cadillac. Number 12 is an American staple, one of the original high-class luxury brands, which has lost its touch over the past couple of decades, but there's still some Cadillacs that I really love. Before I continue, I will say my favorite Cadillac has always been the Escalade. This is mainly due to the N Escalade monster truck from Monster Jam for any Monster Jam fans. This was my favorite monster truck when I was 7 years old, and since then I have always loved the Cadillac Escalade, as it kind of saved the Cadillac brand in my opinion. Cadillacs also have some absolute units like the Eldorado or the Mirage, the luxury El Camino. A solid chunk of Cadillac sedans are kind of blah, but the CTS is uh, the styling the Cadillac should mainly shoot for, and the 640 horsepower in the CTS V is just insane. Plus the design is pretty sweet in my opinion. So Cadillac earns a number 12 spot for me. And I almost forgot to mention the XLR, one of the more unique Cadillacs of this generation, one of my favorites as well. Number 11, Aston Martin. Number 11 on the list is our second British entry, and the sole outlier amongst the other car brands, as I had to include my favorite non-ordinary consumer car company. I took a sudden liking to Aston Martins about a year ago, and I've yearned to learn more about them ever since. All of their vehicles have a simple yet amazing design, that I would love to someday own a Vantage, Vanquish, DB11, or any other modern Aston Martin vehicle. The 177 is one of my favorite cars ever made, for I think it is an absolutely gorgeous vehicle, plus the 7.3 liter V12 with a nice add-on. Though some will argue all Astons look alike, they all have their individual character, which earns it a spot on my list. Number 10, Volvo. Had this list been made 10 years ago, I guarantee fucking to you that Volvo would not have made this list, or been anywhere near the number 10 spot but I honestly think Volvo may be the most improved car brand of the 2010s. I'll sneak in some props to Kia too, but I'm not a fan of Kias. Anyways, just look at the comparisons between some of these vehicles. The XC60 and 90 are some of the best SUVs in their class, with amazing exteriors and interiors that truly make Volvo feel like a top-notch Swedish luxury brand. I also love the S90 and V90, which is rare, as I'm not a big sedan or wagon guy, but something about the S and V90s I think looks great. I often tell my friends if I were to consider buying a sedan or a crossover, it would definitely be a Volvo, and I firmly stand by that, as I think they are great looking vehicles. Number 9, Lexus. 
To me, Lexus is one of the few brands where you get the best of both worlds. With Lexus, you get the opulence of a luxury car, plus the durability of a Toyota, which is extremely hard to come by for a luxury brand. Anyways, you have the original LS400, which is a staple in the car world, evolving into the modern LS500, which is gorgeous. I'm also a huge fan of the GX and LX, as they possess the boxier look, with the ruggedness of an off-roader if you wish to abuse your G or LX. Also, I'm a big fan of the RCF, but moreover, Lexus also produced another one of my favorite t cars ever made, the Lexus LFA. The LFA had a great exterior and interior, which is fine, but the sound of this thing with the 4.8 V10 was truly amazing. Just a great car and brand altogether. Number 8, Mercedes-Benz. As far as Mercedes-Benz goes, I'm not a big fan of their entry-level vehicles. I think they're pretty bland for Mercedes-Benz. But when you work your way up to the tiers of the E-Class, S-Class, and Maybach, that's where Mercedes-Benz displays its finest work. There's some cool sportier cars, such as the AMG GT, and some absolute beasts, such as the G63 AMG 6x6. Great vehicle. Call me basic, but I am a sucker for the G-Wagon, as I love their classic boxy design, and I'm also a sucker for spare tires and the tailgates of SUVs for some reason. I think it looks cool. One of my favorite Benz vehicles is the CLK GTR. This is an awesome looking car, and I remember driving it around in Forza 6 on a frequent basis. Benz also made some oddball cars such as the R-Class and GLK, both of which I was drawn to for their bizarre design and a rather conservative fleet. Having got to pilot an 08 S-Class, the thing was uber comfortable and it made me feel like an absolute king. Love their wide variety of vehicles, plus AMG's sport-based marketing. So Mercedes-Benz earns number 8 for me. Number 7, Plymouth. Number 7 on the list is another long discontinued company, formerly the iconic stepbrother to Dodge Mopar, for Plymouth made my favorite cars from the muscle car era. Just to name a few, the Barracuda, the Duster, the Roadrunner, I would love to someday get the chance to drive one of these monsters. Plymouth also produced one of my favorite, probably top 5 cars ever made, the Plymouth Superbird. This car is just a work of art. It is so badass, and it just looks and sounds incredible. Unpopular opinion, but I also love the Plymouth Prowler. And I think the optional mini trailer it offered is really cool as well. I know Plymouth had its dark ages in the 90s, but still, one of my favorite car brands ever. Number 6, BMW. This brand has definitely grown on me over the past year, as I've had a gracious amount of exposure to Beamers thanks to my friend Omer, was lending many of his families for me to play with, including a 2018 X3, a 2011 535i, a 2008 335i, and a 2016 M235i. While I do not like the i3 or i8 at all, I like majority of BMW's fleet, I hope to possibly own an X650i someday, as the X6 is my favorite Bimmer SUV. I truly love that thing. I also love the Z8, a beautiful vehicle, as well as BMW's other roadster, the Z4. Both great looking cars. Unfortunately, I've never gotten the chance to drive any M package BMWs or the opulent 7 series sedan, but BMW makes it all, whatever type of car you desire. All of BMWs I've drove impressed the hell out of me and handled so well, as I feel myself slowly gravitating towards the cult like following of BMWs. Number 5, Toyota. Toyota simply is a top fleet from top to bottom, and it's clear to see why so many brands struggle to compete with them. The Camry, Avalon, and Corolla are all indestructible sedans, which is nice, but my favorite Toyota is the FJ Cruiser and Mega Cruiser, the Japanese Hummer H3 and H1. It pains me that my mom came so close to purchasing an FJ Cruiser when she went to buy her 2012 Pilot, but alas, the FJ was discontinued the year before. But I literally like any SUV that Toyota makes that has a sporty concept to it. The 4Runner, I love. The Current Gen Tundra, I love. The Land Cruiser, I love. The Sequoia, I love. You get the point. Yeah, I know that the tech's outdated, but I really don't give a shit. If it's got a big engine, leather seats, tall ride height, a radio, and poor gas mileage, I'm all in. The old Super was a wicked car as well. You can debate the new one all you want. It's alright. Even if you don't take care of a Toyota, it will last you forever. They just don't die. That's why there's been multiple million mile Toyotas. I've gotten the chance to drive three Toyotas, a 2018 Tundra, a 2019 Corolla Hatchback, which my mom bought last November, and a 2005 Tundra. Two of the three rode great, 
They're nice cars, and Toyota rightfully deserves the number 5 spot on the list. Number 4. Dodge. Number 4 on the list is an American Patriarch. My friend Jack said this best. In an age where crossovers and fuel efficiency is everything, Dodge simply does not care. They're making Challenger SRT Demons with 800 horsepower, the meanest muscle car for sale, hands down. The Charger SRT Hellcat is a badass sports sedan, but I really miss that metallic purple color they used to offer. That was gorgeous. The Durango is in need of a face of but the SRT Durango with 475 horsepower is pretty sick. But Dodge will literally make an SRT for anything. I mean, they even made an SRT Ram and an SRT Magnum. The Magnum SRT8 had a larger engine than my pickup truck, which is pretty damn insane. Dodge also had everything that Plymouth had before, but more, since it wasn't discontinued. The original Challenger, Charger, and Daytona are all incredible cars, and I stand by the fact that Mopar is the king of muscle cars. Number 3. Ram. Reaching the top 3 of my list is Ram. Now I know Ram is technically made by Dodge, but they underwent a brand split in 2010, so I decided to separate the two. I simply love Ram trucks. The first pickup truck that I was ever in was my friend's father's 2009 Ram 1500 Bighorn with the 5.7 Hemi V8, and I was mesmerized by it. From there, I fell in love with pickup trucks, and I knew that I wanted one when I could finally drive. Another one of my friend's fathers in my scout troop, who was very wealthy, bought a 2013 Ram 1500 Laramie Longhorn with all the bells and whistles, recliner sized leather seats, and a screen that was just perfectly sized, not now with the screen the size of a desktop monitor. That's just too much. I would also love to drive a late 90s Ram 2500's Cummins stick shift just to see how it felt. The videos I've watched of it sound like a school bus and it's just badass. I got to drive my friend's 2004 Ram 1500 SLT and it drove great with the 5.7 liter Hemi V8. And in general, I'm a truck guy. Heavy duty Rams are just packed with power. They look mean and if you get a Cummins, it'll last you a long time. It was a very hard decision to not buy a Ram in lieu of a brand that will be named shortly, but who knows what the future could bring. Number 2. Ford. The runner up on my list is a brand of vehicle that I own, as I frequently mention my 2004 Ford F-150 Larry in my videos, that's because I love that truck so damn much. And as I mentioned, I love Rams, but I like Ford just a little bit more. Ford trucks are the best trucks in my opinion, whether it be a Super Duty, an F-150, or even a Ranger, they're my favorite trucks. And we also have the best off-roading truck, as the Ford Raptor is an absolute powerhouse that can conquer any terrain in its way, and I hope so badly that I get to drive one someday. It would be so cool to take that thing off-roading somewhere and just see what it's capable of. Also, the Ford Excursion was one of the meanest SUVs ever made, if not the meanest, with an optional 6.8 liter V10, or a 7.3 liter power stroke, among others. I mean, it got like 7 miles per gallon, but who cares? It was an awesome truck. Aside from trucks, Ford also makes the iconic Mustang, which I also hope I get to pilot one day. They made the legendary Bronco, which has supposedly been coming back for the past 8 years. Who knows when it'll be finally be back. And they also have the GT, a breathtaking supercar, my favorite being the mid-2000 generation. As far as other cars go, the only Ford car I thought was solid in recent years is a Crown Vic, though my heart drops every time I'm near one because I always think it's a cop. Like every other car brand, Ford has made its fair share of ugly vehicles, such as the Flex, Freestyle, Windstar, among others. Ford also pioneered the car industry in America with the assembly line in the early 20th century, so that's a cool touch on their part as well. Being that my first truck was a Ford though, it's hard to not put it towards the top of my list. Number 1. Hummer. I might be the only person on this planet whose favorite car brand is Hummer, but I've always adored Hummer since I was a toddler. I wasn't kidding when I told you I like boxy vehicles, was I? My parents would always point Hummers out to me when they drove past us when I was younger, as they were much more abundant when I was an infant. Whenever we went to car shows, Hummer was always the first brand I wanted to see, and when I got there, I was told I never wanted to leave, though I sadly don't remember any of it. I had a huge poster of a dark gray H3 parked on the beach that hung in my room for years until it eventually fell down. I'm pretty sure my parents brought the poster for me at a car show when the H3 came out in 2005. I tried to start a petition in 8th grade to bring Hummer back. Didn't work so well. Hell, I even had an H2 Power Wheels when I was younger. 
I tried to bargain with my parents about getting me a Hummer for my first car, but they refused, which I can respect. At least I tried. And look, I know Hummers are super impractical, I know their boxes on wheels, I know they have horrible visibility, and I know that they get 3.5 miles per gallon. But you know what? I don't give a shit. I can't tell you how badly I want to drive an H2 or an H1. You must feel like a king when behind the wheel of one. I'd love to drive an H3 or an H3T as well, but they're not as cool as the H1 or 2. My dream car is a 2006 Hummer H1 Alpha with the 6.6 liter Duramax diesel, and it's always been that since I was a kid. I can't tell you how badly I want to own a Hummer or take one off-roading because I love these vehicles, and they're absolute beasts. People will gawk at a Lambo or Ferrari or Bentley when they see one on the road, but that's what I do whenever I see a Hummer, especially an H1 because they're so damn rare. As the legendary Doug DeMuro said in one of his podcasts, it would make the most sense for Hummer to be brought back. So let's make it happen, people. And with that, Hummer is my favorite car brand of all time. May it rest so in peace. So my friends, that is the list of my 20 favorite car brands. It took me a long time to make this list because I love so many different types of cars and car brands itself. Nonetheless, there it is. Feel free to let me know what your favorite car brands are. I'd love to find out and compare with y'all. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you soon. Peace.